Hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews. We're here at Gunset Academy in Paulden, Arizona on a beautiful fall day. And a couple of months ago, we did a video on this Remington Commander 1911 R1 Ultralight. Um, it's a great pistol. I've been using it now for a couple of months. And of course, I told you before that I was going to do some changes to it just because um, the grips and whatever. So I decided to change the grips on it and put VC grips on it. There was nothing wrong with the original grips. It's because they were wood um, and they were too pretty. And here in Arizona, with the sweat and the heat and humidity and then lack of humidity, wood gets really bad, bad really quickly. It gets nasty at times. And the reason I changed the, uh, the original grip screws on it, I also changed those with flat head grip screws here, is because I like flat head grip screws better than uh, the Allen uh, hex screws. Uh, it's a personal taste. This is the beauty of 1911. You can change things to make things better for you. And the third thing that I have changed so far is the front sight. At this time, I put a True Glow TFX Pro front sight. It usually comes in a kit of front and rear sight. Um, at this time, I just changed the front sight. I'm testing it compared to the original uh, adjustable low mount that comes with a gun. Uh, I'm liking it. I need to shoot more accuracy tests with it. But um, the cool thing about the TFX Pro, it is a combination of fiber optic and tritium. So basically the sun hits that port up there on top and it lights up like a big light beam in front of you. And it has a, an orange insert around the fiber. So it also, at night, it glows in the dark because it has a tritium insert. Um, and it's a really good sight. This one is the one made for the commander and officer's model, which is shorter. So I'm liking this front sight a lot. I might be changing the rear sight here uh, next week, but I want to try it without the changing the rear sight. There was nothing wrong with the original fiber optic, but I wanted tritium for night sights and whatever. So because it's an EDC gun. So other than that, the pistol is still stock. And one other minor change I did, and it has nothing to do with the pistol, is with the magazines. I like the magazines it came with, but I like the Wilson um, ETM uh, HD magazines. These are the ones with a flat spring that have a lifetime warranty. Um, and the reason I like these is because these are the magazines that I use for competition with my other 1911s. So I wanted all my 1911s to use the same magazine, have the same feel. Uh, the difference is um, it sticks out a little bit more than the normal factory magazine, but that's okay. Uh, it just adds probably half an inch to the pistol. Oh, I really like these magazines and the lifetime warranty on these doesn't hurt. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.